This is Manny Holmes for Variety. Fights, shootouts, and police chases have dominated Sons of Anarchy on FX, and this year, stunt coordinator Eric Norris is nominated for an Emmy. Eric joined me in the newsroom to talk about creating the mayhem for the most notorious biker gang on TV. For a stunt coordinator, I mean, Sons of Anarchy is a dream job. You know, doing car chases and motorcycle chases, that's the funnest part of our business. Action! One of our last episodes, we had this whole thing down through the harbor, finished up with two motorcycles laying down and sliding into a truck. And the episode before that, we had a what's called a sidewinder. And I had never done it on any of my shows that I direct, second unit, or coordinated. And that's where car's coming down the hill and it rear ends the back of the car and it causes it to spin and, and roll. Are there any elaborate stunts that you guys had to do just one take only? Knock it over the water tower, that's a one shot deal. There is no going back on that. And then in that same chase, when we tip the truck over, it's a one shot deal. That's where you get a little nervous. I mean, you've worked a 10 hour day and if it doesn't go right, you know, your whole day is shot. And it worked perfectly. Charlie is amazing on a motorcycle. I mean, he rode to work every day on a motorcycle. He's good, he's as, as good as most stunt guys out there. And I'm always having to pull Charlie back. Going, down, don't do this, don't do that, Charlie. He had to ride his motorcycle towards the truck, put his arms out as if he's gonna hit the truck, and he goes in, he starts aiming at the truck, and sure enough, he puts his arms off and starts, and I go, oh, oh. And he pulled it off and it was fine, but my heart went in my throat, and I thought, oh man, I don't want to kill Charlie on the last episode. Is there an advantage, do you think, to using real actors than digital? I mean, listen, in this day and age, the whole, you know, putting it in post and all that is great, but there's nothing like the real thing. If you have an actor and, and he's riding on the back of a motorcycle that's being towed by a trailer, which a lot of times, you know, actors, a lot of actors don't ride motorcycles and the, the, the handlebars don't ever move and you're, you know that he's not riding. When you see Charlie and you're starting on a wheel and coming up to his face and seeing that it's him actually riding it and you see him flying around a corner, it makes it real and believable. So what kind of physical shape does the actor have to be in, in particularly the scene with Lynn and Jax? Zip him to the fence. Except him. I mean, what we had tried to do is go rehearse it mm -hmm. with the doubles, come up with some sort of idea of what we wanted to do. Then we'd rehearse it with the actors or we'd go out. But Charlie had a strong opinion of what he wanted to do. This isn't the way I wanted to do this, Henry. I wanted it to be much slower. Charlie will go, no, 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 we, it needs to be grittier than that. Let's take him down and slam his head into the ground and you know, elbow him in the back of the head or whatever. I'm gonna lose Tara. Say it, Tara! I've made a career out of hiring the best people around me to make me look good. Smart stunt people, smart stunt coordinators, and it's like when we burned that girl in the trash can. Like there's Mark Chadwick, super amazing guy with fire. But I knew that if I brought him to help me, she was going to be safe. And how is the Sons of Anarchy different from other shows? You know what, the, the, what was great about Sons, it was such a family type of show. I mean, that, that show just ran so well because everybody cared so much about it. You don't get a lot of shows like that. You know, lots of times you get on a, any show, whether it's a TV show or a movie or whatever, you know, people want to come in, do their jobs, go home. Where Sons of Anarchy, people wanted to come in and make a great show every episode.